Hello Techies. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a new list. And after that, we have seen how to add items to the list. And also we have seen how to remove items from the list. And finally, we have seen how to clear the items from the list by using clear list actions. Now, in this video, we will learn three different actions related to the list. That is one, remove duplicate items from the list. Second one, shuffle list and third one reverse the list all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this remove item from the list let me delete them and after that i'm going to add few more items to the list let me go ahead let me add that items if you observe i have added few items to the list one is james another one vishwa another one vishwa so now i have all the items has been added to the list let us assume if you see over here i'm having duplicate items over here like vishwa in the index one and after that in the index three i'm also having vishwa how can i go ahead and remove the duplicate items from the list there is one of the variable action that we call remove duplicate items from the list. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And now we'll see the parameters. If you see over here, list to remove duplicate items from, from which list you want to remove the duplicates. As of now, we are having only one list that is employee list. Let me go ahead, let me select that. Let me select employee list. And now if you see over here, ignore the test case while searching for the duplicate items. What does it mean? If you see, if you observe over here at the index one and the index three, I have added duplicate values. But if you observe one is capital V, another one is small v. So in the Vishwa, in the name of Vishwa, I have added capital V, another one is a small v. So what will ever happen over here? It will ignore the text case while searching for the duplicate value. Like, you know, is it the upper case of the value or the lower case? It won't bother about that whenever you are going to enable this action, enable this parameter. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to ignore this test case so that I will show you how it will looks like, okay? Now let me go ahead, let me save it. Now in the display message, I'm going to select employee list already. Now let me go ahead, let me run the flow. Now, if you observe the output, what it happened, it is not removed the duplicates because if you observe in our action that is remove duplicate items from the list, we have not enabled ignore text for the cases, right? So that it has been without deleting the Vishwa and the, uh, if you see, these are all the things coming as a unique value so that it has not removed the duplicate values over there. All right, let me click on okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to be ignore text cases while searching the duplicate items. The text case is nothing but lower case, upper case. I'm going to ignore them. So irrespective of that, I'm going to, if I'm having any duplicate values, I'm going to delete them. Now let me go ahead, let me save it. Now once again, let me run the flow once again. Now, if you observe the output, you can see Vishwa with the upper case has been there and the lower one, which is small v at the index, three has been removed by using remove duplicate items from the list. But if you observe, why can't we are unable to delete the upper case of Vishwa? Because of, first of all, it will be checked out over there and based on the items which are available, it will be checked out on the loop basis and then it will remove the item if already exists. That is how it is going to be. Now, if you observe in the index one, if you are having uh, small way then it will keeps that one and later on it will remove the duplicate items from the list all right let me click on okay now we have seen how to remove the duplicate items from the list now let assume I want to reverse the list if you observe what happened over here James is zero index one Vishwa two Amir three Vishwa four Sushma and and five is Satish right I want to reverse the list of the employee list. So the order which we have given in the same way, it is going to display right now, but I want to reverse it in a such a way, zero is Satish, one is Sushma, two is, 
two is Vishwa and so on like that. How can I go ahead and do that? There by using reverse list, we can change the order of the items. Now, let me drag and drop this reverse list onto the workspace. And there you can see the parameters list to reverse. Now, what is the list that we are going to reverse it? The employee list. Let me select that employee list and let me click on save. Now, how it will look like the Sati, Shushma and so on will be displayed in the output. Let me go ahead and let me run the output. Now, if you observe the output, the reverse format, right? As I said, Sati, Shushma, Vishwa, Amir, again Vishwa and James has came over here in the reverse order by using reverse arrays. All right, let me go ahead, let me click on OK. I hope you understand how to use the reverse list. Let me disable that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with shuffle list. What is the purpose of that? You can see over here, we can create a random permutation of the list. It's like, you know, rearranging of the list in the shuffle format. Now, let me go ahead, let me drag and drop this shuffle list onto the workspace. And if you see, this is also having a single parameter list to shuffle that we are going to select it employee list and then we are going to click on save. Now let me go ahead, let me run the flow once again. If you observe the output, irrespective of the you know reverse list or else you know, remove the duplicates, it's a little bit different. You can see this item has been, what are the values that we are having in the list has been shuffled, not in the particular order. It will be shuffled every time. Now, if you see now the order is Satish, Vishwa, so on, so on, right? Now let me click on OK. Now, once again, I will start running the flow once again. You can see the different orders over there. Now, if you see once again, now previously, I mean, we were at the end of the list. Right now, it is in the position of two. That is nothing but index of one. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to remove duplicate items from the list. And after that, we have seen how to reverse the list. And also, we have observed how to randomly we can change the order of the list by using shuffle list. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.